Keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure, here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! Good morning dear students. I'm sure all of you are fine today and I am going to teach you something which is absolutely different. By looking at the two words here, joy and full, you must be wondering why teacher has given us these two words to join. Yes, I'm sure you must be wondering whether teacher is going to teach us about contractions, suffixes, base words, prefixes, word order. What is it? Okay, here's a clue. Garden plus er, gardener, run plus ner, runner, record plus er, recorder. I think you must have got a clue, but if you're still confused, don't worry. The confusion will be solved in just a few seconds. And today, we are going to learn a new lesson in Standard 7 in English Grammar entitled Prefix and Suffix presented by Miss Inasia D'Souza from Tucker Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. So welcome back students once again and let us see what a prefix and suffix is all about. Prefixes and suffixes are sets of letters that are added to the beginning or end of another word. They are not words in their own right and cannot stand on their own in a sentence. If they are printed on their own, they have a hyphen before or after them. Prefix is a set of letters which is usually used in front of a word. However, it changes the entire meaning of the word. On the other hand, suffix is a set of letters that comes at the end of a word. Examples Unhappy Here, un is prefix and it comes at the beginning of the word happy and changes the meaning. Happy refers to happiness and unhappy carries the opposite meaning of that word. So by now you know that a suffix can also become an antonym. On the other hand, let's take another example. Childish is a word where ish suffix is added and it gives a new meaning. Moreover, after adding a suffix, the word changes as child is a noun, but childish is an adjective. Prefixes and suffixes both are parts of affixes. That means we fix these words to a root word. The use of these two affixes change the meaning of the base word or the root word. Another example can make the concept clearer. Untidiness is a word where both suffix and prefix are added and it refers to a different meaning than its root word. Here, tidy is the root word and it means neat and clean. And untidy means disorderly and it is an adjective as well as an antonym. Untidiness refers to disorderliness and messiness and it is a noun. Prefixes. Here, cultural would turn to multicultural. So, what is the prefix? Multi. Market would turn to supermarket. I know you must have guessed that super is a prefix here. Work, overwork. So, what is the prefix? Over. Regular, irregular. So, you all know irregular is an antonym as well as IR is a prefix. Suffixes. Taste would become tasteless. So the word at the end. Less is a suffix. Like, likable. 
able is added in order to make it a suffix. Work, worker. What is added? E-R. Jain, Jainism. What is added? I-S-M at the end of Jain. So therefore, it is a suffix and both Jain and Jainism are nouns. What are the differences between a prefix and a suffix? And here's a glance. Prefix is a group of letters that comes at the starting of a root word. On the other hand, suffix is a group of letters that is added at the end of a base word. Prefix is always placed at the beginning and suffix always comes at the end. Prefix changes the meaning and suffix also changes the meaning and additionally assists in formatting tenses. Prefix is only one type but there are two types of suffix, inflectional and derivational. We learn more about it in a short while. Now let us see how prefixes can be made and what they mean. So if you want to suggest not, use un, before, use pre because pre means first or before, miss, m-i-s with a single s, wrong or bad, again for like repeating something, okay, so you use the word re if you want to suggest that the thing happens again and again. A prefix is added before a root word to make a new word. Now look at these pictures. I have a man or rather a cartoon with a palette. So he could repaint something or redo something. There's a child here who is relaxing on a couch. Then or on a seat in an airplane. Then we have a child who is hugging a dog. We could say embrace here or embracing. Child who has misunderstood something or is confused. So M-I-S or C-O-N. A tree which has fallen down. So uproot or uprooted. Then there's another child who's trying to welcome his friend to a new class. So, well plus come, welcome, W-E-L. And here's a child who is going to a priest and telling him about the bad things he has done. So, this is called confess, okay, or confession. So, C-O-N or I-O-N. Common prefixes. Now, let us look at how the meanings are added to these prefixes. If you use DIS, you would get dislike, disable, disorganize, dishonest, disappear, which are not words, negative words. Non would become non fat, nonsense, non payment, non native. Again, negative words. UN, unhappy, unpaid, uncover, unreal. Opposites once again. In, suggesting not. Indirect, incomplete, inexpensive, inactive. Again, not words. I am to suggest negative words again. Or opposites. Impossible, immoral. Under, for lower or less. Undercharge, underpaid, undercooked undergraduate, re for again, reread, rewrite, review, replay, redo, pre for before or earlier, prepaid, preview, pre-war, predate, miss for bad or badly, misuse, mislead, misspell, misunderstand, out for out or outside, outdoors, outsource, outspoken, outlaw. So the meaning of out and outside or out, both are the same. Common suffixes. Let us see how it can change parts of speech. 
er can change verbs to nouns like for example hunt hunter build builder own owner sing singer speak speaker est would change adjectives to adjectives like high highest close closest full fullest simple simplest cheap cheapest Full would change noun to adjectives like peace, peaceful, law, lawful, youth, youthful, rest, restful, truth, truthful. L E S S less would change noun to adjectives once again like life, lifeless, power, powerless, use, useless, hope, hopeless, sleep, sleepless. L Y would change and change adjectives to adverbs like right, rightly, natural, naturally, polite, politely, hope, hopefully, heavy, heavily. Then we have N E S S adjective to noun thin thinness open openness still stillness sick sickness soft softness able changing noun to adjective use usable enjoy enjoyable notice noticeable value valuable like likable the E is omitted in value and like I Z E adjective to verb generalize modernize realize personalize industrialize t i o n addition operation prevention introduction changing verb to noun changing noun to adjective and adverb power powerful powerfully life lively alive life youth youthful youthfully direction direct directly Question, questionable, questionably, peace, peaceful, peacefully, difference, different, differently, play, playful, playfully, fortune, fortunate, fortunately, hope, hopeful, hopefully. Changing noun to adjective and adverb. Here are some more. Well, this is just a repetition for you to revise it once again. And let us look at some prefixes in English, like the word anti would become antisocial, antigravity, antibiotic, antidepressant, antifreeze. This would be the opposite of for dislike, dishonest, distant, disagree, disappear. In would be for not, incorrect, inaccurate, inadequate, inability, incomplete. Co would be for with, like co worker, co pilot, cooperation, coexist, co sign. Then we have extra for more than, like extracurricular, extraordinary, extraterrestrial, for, for, for before, forecast, forehead, foresee, forward, foremost, miss for wrongly, misinterpret, misfire, mistake, misunderstand, misconduct, mono for singular, like monotone, monobro, monolithic, monopoly, monolingual, and non for nonsense non identity non descript non active non existent which means without sub for under submerge submarine subcategory subtitle subconscious trans for across like transport transnational transatlantic transact and transform un for not like unfinished unfriendly undone unknown unlike Uni for one, but like unicycle, universal, unilateral, unanimous, and post for postmortem, post postpone, postnatal, postscript, and posterity. Inter for interact, intermediate, intergalactic, interstellar, interlock, and ex for ex president, ex boyfriend, exterminate, exterior extension. So, I'm sure you will be able to understand suffixes in English by looking at how they have been placed here, like position for state of being, eight for meditate, then full for handful, I-V-E for having the nature of, less for without, L-Y for related to quality, W-A-R-D word, word or words for direction. I would like to give credit to the following websites for the assistant and thank, and thank you once again for being with me in this English class. I hope you enjoyed it.